No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. My name is Joshua Daniel George. For those of you that are new to the channel or just don't know who I am, um, I am currently in my home office and yes, these are actually prescription glasses. I'm not the pretentious douchebag that you think I am and actually they've got like the blue filter on in them. So, um, cause it's obviously nighttime now, um, this basically blocks out the, the blue light and I've got the ring light on obviously and I've got my computer screen So there's a lot of screens and lights pointed at me uh, But because it's late I wear these glasses So um, you know it blocks out the blue light and it makes it easier for me to sleep at night Might be a placebo effect but I like them I think they're cool so that's why I wear them So anyway uh, this video is going to be about content and what you actually need to post for your clients And then mainly your social media management clients um, I get this question a lot and I just thought I'd create a, create a quick video on it um, because people are still really, really unsure how you create content for social media management clients. If you actually need to create the content for social media management clients, um, how you do it if you've got an overseas you know, client, do you, you know, fly over or do you fly someone else over? Do they create the photos and you know, stuff like that? Guys, you do not need to physically go there and take photos of whatever it is, let's say it's a restaurant or uh, whatever, you do not need to do that, okay? I'm just gonna take the brick and mortar businesses first, then we can look into e uh, you know, later in this video, but um, you do not need to physically go there and take photos, okay? Especially if it's an overseas client, it, it wouldn't make sense. So um, what you do on this social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, you know, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, whatever you, you wanna promote, um, what you do is you ask the client to provide you with content. If they haven't got it, you ask the client if they can take some general photos of whatever it is, let's say it's a restaurant, and um, if they can't do that, you either use images that you can find on the website, use stock photos, or you just create images on canva.com okay what we also do a lot is just basically just combine everything that i just mentioned so we get content from the client um, if it's a restaurant or if it's a dentist or anything like that they almost always have content available or you know we like i said you can ask them to create content you know you can always ask the owner you know could you create uh, take let's say 100 photos of the restaurant next week um, and then what we'll do is we'll edit them optimize them we'll create graphics out of them we'll you know add the brand and stuff like that and then uh, we'll upload them okay so that you know it's okay to ask the the restaurant owner um I, I keep saying restaurant but you know it's okay to ask the owner for that and once you have the content and all you need to do from there is basically give it all one theme okay so you can add for example like a specific type of filter around it or you know a specific type of branding um, you can add text to it um, watch out with the text on the ads obviously use the text overlay tool if you're going to use text on the ads because um, especially with facebook ads the text can't be any more than 20 percent of the creative that you are posting but um you know we're not talking about that we're talking about the management um side of things so like i said you know you can add stuff in canva it's really easy like guys if i can use canva then you can definitely use canva um you, know, you can add the logos and stuff like that and just basically mix and match what they've sent with generic like let's say quotes as long as it looks nice it's okay you know it's fine to use quotes and like generic um you know, stuff and like i said just use stock images as well like for example if you have a um i don't want to say restaurant clients again let's say you've got a spa client okay you can go on unsplash.com or uh, pexels.com or pixabay.com and just type in spa or type in like um i don't know let's say you've got a yoga client yoga and then you'll just get like generic copyright free content that you can then use reuse you know recycle you can add whatever you want to it um and that is literally how we do it guys like we just go into um like like i said you know those copyright free websites we save whatever we need we upload it into canva we add the brand and we make it all look like it's all part of one you know uh, piece of content and then we distribute it on either hootsuite or social sprout uh, nowadays we just use hootsuite we've used social sprout in the past 
Um, we've actually used quite a lot of things in the past. We've used laser.com, which I still use my personal brand. We've used, uh, what's the other one, buffer.com. Um, like I said, Social Sprout, and I feel that Hootsuite is probably the best social media management content scheduling software. Um, and the only reason why I use later.com is because I don't really post that often on my own Instagram anyway, and it saves up, or it basically it creates some space on Hootsuite.com for our clients. So um, yeah, that is all I wanted to say, guys. So like I said, it doesn't have to be that difficult. You don't need to go there. You don't need to take photos yourself. Obviously, if you have a client that is literally down the road, um, you can do you know the extra. You can go the extra mile basically, and you know take some photos for them, um, and then you you know you can basically um, create photos that you would like to post, or you know you can make sure the quality is good enough, um, because obviously you know uh, let's face it, the older generation, they you know they haven't got the eye that we have got, because obviously you know we know what the Instagram standard is like. And um, the older generation obviously hasn't got that. Um, that's not to say that there's no good photographers uh, that are older than 25. I don't mean that in the slightest. Um, but you know what I mean. So, like I said, if they're down, in down the road, then obviously feel free to go there. But you don't need to fly over. You don't need to do anything like that. And if you have a overseas client, then just request content from them or use the stock images, etc and just you know, recycle what is already available on the internet. You can even go to Google My Business and see if people have left photos in their reviews. Um, you can even do that on Yelp, um, what's the other one, TripAdvisor, you know, stuff like that. Just recycle their content, add the brand in, increase the quality, you know, edit them a, bit, a little bit, and then uh, throw them in Canva and schedule them with a scheduling software. Okay, so that is all I've got for today, guys. Um, you know, for those of you that already know all this stuff, uh, you know, I just got this question, so I thought I'd quickly create a video on it. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.